So this summer, as we know, Canada is marking its 150th anniversary, 150 years of our country developing, changing, and growing. So all summer, we're going to take a look at different snapshots of life in this country, in Canada. And today, we're profiling one of the oldest living religions in the world, Hinduism. We travel to the largest Hindu temple here in Canada, which is the BAPS Swami Namarayan Mandir in Toronto, to learn about the values of the religion and its place in Canada. This is Canada's first traditionally hand-carved Hindu temple, also known as a mandir. Fifteen hundred craftsmen carved the stone for a year and a half. They divided it into 24,000 pieces, each piece intricately hand-carved. The pieces were all shipped to Canada and put together by hand like a giant jigsaw puzzle. The spirit in which it was created was with, through the use of volunteers, which donated so much of their time and talent and their finances, made everybody from children to youth to adults, all pitching in together as a community, as a village, to build this great place. The Monday was inaugurated uh, on uh, July 22nd, uh, 2007, and uh, by His Holiness Pramukh Swami Maharaj, and in the presence of Stephen Harper, the Prime Minister at that time, thousands of people sitting on the lawns. The whole ceremony was broadcast live worldwide. Because this mandir has become so well known across the country now, that people of Indo-Canadian heritage have began to call it their own. It's kind of their place. And young Hindus are beginning to identify this place as kind of who they are as a Hindu. Hinduism is the world's oldest living religion, dating back more than 10,000 years. Hindus first started coming to Canada in the early 1900s, and they came along with the Sikhs from India as the first uh, immigrants uh, to Canada from India. And then in the 1970s, quite a few more Hindus uh, came to Canada, especially from East Africa. Now, looking at today, according to Stats Canada, we have more than 500,000 Hindus in Canada, and I would say about 70% of them are settled here in the GTA. We're going to witness a very, very important ritual, one of the most important rituals in Hinduism. The ritual is called Arti, and the ritual of Arti is, is uh, welcoming God with light. When the doors open in the central shrine, we'll see the sacred image of God, Bhagwan Swami Narayan, after whom this mandir is named. And on the right-hand side, we'll see the ideal devotee, uh, Gunaditanan Swami. This area of the mandir welcomes all of the visitors and devotees to participate in an ancient ritual called Abhishek. And during Abhishek, water is ceremoniously poured over a sacred image. This part of the building is completely made out of Burmese teak wood, hand-carved Burmese teak. And this showcases the woodworking art of India. When you look around, you see the, the welcoming signs, you see dancers in the ceiling uh, designs in, in wood carvings, and there's people saying poetry and there's garlands. Also, you see the royal animals. So you can see elephants and horses and peacocks, and you can see flowers all around us and veils of flowers. And this is the traditional Indian welcome. People that come here to, uh, because they're interested in the art and the architecture and the beauty of the mandir and the carvings. And so when they come here, we hope that they will have a wonderful experience, but at the same time, learn about the values of Hinduism, of peace, of tolerance, of harmony, of living together in, in, in this country called Canada. <laughs> 